blink. Eyesight is the ability to see. Sight relies on light and the eye. Our eyes make images that help us make sense of our world. Each eye is the sum of its parts. No part works well without the help of the others. The lens, the iris, the pupil, the sclera, the choroid and the cornea, the virtuous humor, the retina too, with its rods and its cones, and several parts more in most living creatures. Blink, 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 or no blink. The Eastern Bay Scallop has six plus eyes in two tidy rows at the edge of its shell. They look ornamental like gemstones in blue, but they're always alert to light and to motion. When a baby scallop senses a sea star or crab, it swishes away from those rogues in the ocean. They cannot wink, they do not blink, but they never miss a shadow. In each of these eyes, tiny square crystals are stacked like tiles. These crystals help bay scallops detect movement and see shadows. Bay scallops usually have 30 to 50 pairs of vivid blue eyes along the edge of their shells. Some scallops even have more pairs. Like many other scallops, this one swims close to the ocean floor. A strong muscle helps, its cl helps it clap its shell together to create a jet of water that propels it forward. Whoosh! The common kingfisher is tiny and shy, but it's a bird who plans swiftly when fish are nearby. Perched on a twig, it knows to keep still until just the right moment, just one splintered second before some frisky wiggler is snatched in its bill. It fixes its gaze on the river or stream and waits with no flicker, no ruffle, no trill. Then it drops through the air with a flashing of blue and a flourish of gold. Goodbye, little swimmer. Good eye, kingfisher. Once the kingfisher spots its prey, it uses sharp visual measuring skills to plunge towards its target. Known for its astonishing fishing skill, this bird can keep its head still and its eyes focused even when other parts of its body are bobbing in the wind. It's tricky work to snap up a fish that's always moving, but the hunter can detect fish through the glare of sunlight and shifting hues of moving water. A dragonfly has two immense eyes with tens of thousands of lenses, and each single lens sees a separate view of the world all on its own. What a dragonfly sees must surely please, since it detects far more colors than a human sees. And not only that, but in almost 360 degrees. It's hard to catch a dragonfly. It can still see you after it's flown by. Dragonflies also have three simple eyes on the tops of their heads. Except for one tiny spot right behind them, dragonflies can see in all directions at once. Dragonflies have two gigantic compound eyes that have as many as 30,000 lenses and no eyelids. A whirligig beetle has two eyes on top and two eyes down under. The eyes above the surface of a pond, let's say, look up to steer clear of foes each day, while the two eyes below scan the water for prey. And all these eyes focus without any strain in sunlight, in shadow, or even in rain. Whirligig beetles are fun to watch because they gyrate. In ponds and streams, they busy, they're, these busy hunters form tight swarms with their competitive buddies, circling around one another like bumper cars. Each whirligig eye is split into two different parts, one, with sea, one that sees well above the water and one that sees well beneath the surface. These eye parts work separately from each other. The eyes of an American bullfrog beam brightly wherever they peer, bulging like headlights with three windshield washers. They rise from its skull like a knot on a log. In the darkness of night, they may see, you, we may see them, a blink at the rim of the pond. These eyes catch the glow of the moonshine and stars and toss it right back towards the trout's eyes and ours. 
Like all frogs, the American bullfrog has three eyelids that clean and protect its eyes. At night, an orangey yellow light called eye shine reflects from a layer of tissue behind the frog's retina. This glowing light helps the frog to see its prey. Because they sit high atop the frog's head, a bullfrog's eyes can also see almost 360 degrees. This is useful because bullfrogs cannot turn their heads. A bullfrog closes its eyes when it eats. That's because it uses its eyeballs to push its food down its throat. A cheetah is no cat to mess with. Ask any gazelle on the African plains. It will spot you and track you and chase you down. For this is a cat who means business. From the cut, the glare streaks of its tear lines to the tip of its rudder tail like tail. This cat goes stalking at daybreak. This cat goes prowling at dusk. Its extra sharp eyes keep a bead on its dinner. And unless you are clever or maxim maximally swift, most of the time the cheetah's the winner. The cheetah's distinctive tear lines running from the cor corners of each eye to the mouth are black hairs that they may reduce that may reduce the sun's glare and help the cheetahs hunt in bright light. Only hawks and owls have sharper vision than the cheetah, which can see details as far away as two to three miles in the dry forest or tree-lined plains. The cheetah is the world's fastest land animal. In short, in short sprints of up to 450 yards, it can reach speeds up to 70 miles per hour in three seconds. The Union Island gecko cannot blink. It has no eyelids, though some geckos do, and no sliding membrane to wipe away dust or other discomforts. Instead, it has two immovable brills. These clear as glass scales protect its eyes as it hides behind boulders and searches the skies for signs of the dangers that threaten its life. When the brills become grimy or stickily smudged, this wizard lizard just sticks out its liquor and swipes at each eyeball until it is slicker. Geckos make, may be 350 times more sensitive to light than humans, so some geckos may be able to see color clearly at night, especially under moonlight or starlight. The Union Island gecko, which is about the same size as a small paper clip is one of the Earth's most endangered species. Jumping spiders, all 6,000 species, excel at seeing and leaping. With four pairs of eyes that work much like a spyglass, they check out the scene in every direction. Then they plan their move with focused intention their retinas swivel and sort information until the front pair of eyes gets fixed on a target. An, an ant or a fly, or maybe a mate, and then the spider gets ready to pounce while its brain plans a leap that can't fail. A jumping spider has eight eyes arranged in pairs at the front sides and back of its head. Each eye has the immovable lens attached to the outside of the spider's head. This lens collects light and sends it to each retina. Each retina can move, it all, move in all directions so the spider can see in great detail without moving its head. An owl on the prowl is no joker. It's a serious, imperious hunter. It looks for mice and for skunks and for voles. At dawn or in evening, then twilight unrolls and shadows make timid bray, bray, beast brave. On velvety wings, owls come gliding silent and stealthily and generally grim. If you are a mouse or a rabbit, you'll be the supper, not him. Like other owls, the great horned owl cannot move its eyes, but its head can turn up to 270 degrees so it can look in any direction. This owl usually hunts at dawn and dusk, but it has excellent vision in daylight, dim light, and darkness.
A squid, to be sure, has remarkable eyes, especially a squid who's colossal. Its lenses are crafted to see into blackness deep in the sea where leviathans roam. With its dinner plate eyes, it searches the ocean for meals of fish and shrimp and squid. But when it encounters a light show of flashes, bluer than water or sky, it peers past the sparkles and into the darkness for signs of a sperm whale nearby. And then, if it's quick, it vanishes. Goodbye. The squid's lemon-shaped lens Lenses focus light sharply, which is helpful in the darkness, 1,000 feet below the ocean's surface. Colossal squid and giant squid have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. When chameleons awaken, their eye cones start whirling. One eye might ogle a worm on a leaf, while the other's off gawking at crickets. These eyeballs are famed for their fierce independence so they'll scout for a meal with two pupils swirling. In tropical lowlands on the island Madagascar, scientists study the startling features of these most outlandishly colorful creatures. This lizard, for instance, can alter its hues when it's threatened by cranky or cranky or cold. And when snacks wander near, it shoots out its snatcher, Earth's quickest and stickiest tongue. Each of the chameleon's eyes can move on its own, so this reptile can focus on two objects or places at one time. A chameleon focuses his eyes on its prey and unleashes a, its superbly fast and sticky tongue. Chameleon saliva is 4,000 times stickier than human saliva. But what about you? What do your eyes do? The eyeballs of humans are large and they're round, but the shapes of their eyelids may change how they look. Sheltered in sockets, they move leftward and rightward and upward and down. They allow us to scan and to scout and to survey through the rosiest dawn and the glare of midday. And though they are challenged when light is, disappears, they keep trying to see whatever they can. Our irises tend to be blue, green, or brown, or maybe they're amber or hazel or gray. A few of us have one eye that's brown and one that is blue. And you, what hues have you? We're born with eyelashes and eyebrows and lids, and most of us blink 10,000 times in a day. Blink, 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 blink. You might see best when you look far away while a friend might see well when she looks close at hand. But in all of us who are able to see, there's a clear path from every scene that enters our pupils to the parts of our brains where we sort through it, each image to make sense of our world. Most of the time while we sort, we think and we learn and we blink. Blink, 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 or no blink. Zzz. How your eye works. All the different parts of your eyes work together to help you see. The sclera is the tough white outer layer of the eyeball that gives it strength. The cornea is the clear outer layer of the eye. It is shaped like a dome or like the crystal cover of a wristwatch. The iris has muscles that adjust the size of the pupil to the amount of light. It is the colored part of the eye behind the cornea. At the center of the iris is the pupil an opening that controls the amount of light that enters the eye. The lens is a clear inner part of the eye. It's flexible and works with the cornea to focus light as the eye looks at objects. The vitreous body, often called the vitreous humor, fills the space between the lens and the retina. It fills with clear, it's filled with clear jelly-like material, which gives the eye its shape. Light passes through the vitreous humor to the retina, a light sensitive layer of tissue. Special cells called photoreceptors turn the light into electrical signals. The electrical signals travel through the optic nerve to the brain, which turns the signals into images that you see. Tear glands above the eyeball produce tears that your eyes need to work correctly. Every time you blink about 10,000 times each day, the tears wash your eyes. 
The tears then flow into little canals that go to, go to your nose. Sometimes the tears can spill down your cheeks. Blink. 